Hey, hi. So in this video, we are going to have a look into cucumber tags and also look at different ways of using and running them. Right. To begin with, let's understand what actually a tag is. So the word tag means a label that is used to identify a particular thing. Right. So say for example, I would say the best one would be clothes that we buy. Right. So let's say a t-shirt or rather two t-shirts. So these t-shirts would generally have a tag uh, which would tell us what size they are or rather which brand they belong to. And we use this, this information to differentiate between these two t-shirts right? or rather group them accordingly. Similarly in Cucumber also we have tags which we can use to identify scenarios and features. So let's go ahead and look into the practical implementation of this. Okay, so here I have with me a simple Java Cucumber framework using TestNG along with me. Okay. Uh, in my feature file, I have three scenarios. Testing a hypothetical login feature. Right. Uh, these scenarios are attempting to log in with valid credentials, trying to log in with invalid credentials, and then simply checking whether the company's logo is present on the page or not. Right. And for the purpose of this video, I have just implemented a simple print statement inside every step. Right, We can see that over here. Okay, So these are my steps and I have just included a simple print statement inside of it. Right? Uh, the main reason being that uh, for the purpose of this video, we do not need to look into the Selenium implementation of things. Rather, we are just looking at tags. Right? So let's go ahead and add in few tags in our feature file. Right. Okay, so Cucumber allows us to add tags at feature level and scenario level. So in my file, I can add a tag over here on feature as at the rate say critical, signifying that this is a critical feature. And then in scenario level, I can again add tags. Let's say for this scenario, I want it to run during regression. So I'll add regression. Then again, I want it to run as part of smoke also. So I'll try smoke. And then I would want this to be identified as a functional test because I'm testing a function. So at the rate, right. similarly for the second one, I will include just functional. And regression. Right. And for the third one, I'll add in another tag, let's say UI at the rate UI because this is not a functional test and again regression. Right. So like we see, uh, we generally prefer adding tags which have a meaningful name and which kind of describes what kind of scenario this is. And uh, the tag name is not limited to what I have used. We can actually use anything we can say at the rate xyz sdf but you know that is generally not preferred right now we have added this ad let's see how we can run them and we can run these tags by either explicitly defining them in our runner file or we can input them straight from our command line okay so in order to run them via runner file let's first open our runner file okay here inside cucumber options you will need to add a new parameter that being tag so add a comma ta that gives you suggestion tags right and this uh, expects a string a parameter so add a string and here we can uh, mention which tag we want to run so let's run uh, let's say ui okay this is only tagged with one scenario at the rate you are now let's run this and see what happens so as you can see only one test case ran 
that being the one that was tagged with ui now let's run a different tag uh, let's say this time you're trying to run functional So this time which should run so my attempt with valid credentials should run my attempt with invalid credentials should run but the UI test at the end should not okay let's see which run a user is on login page valid credentials invalid credentials no UI okay so likewise we can run any tag Okay, so this was running scenarios like so what would happen if I run a tag that is marked on feature level say at the rate critical so let's go back and do that okay, run it again right so we can see that all the test cases ran right? so the feature tag is actually inherited by all the scenarios so whatever tag I put in feature would also be uh, indirectly included in scenario and when I'm trying to run this tag let's say if I had multiple features and then only those features which were having the critical tag would have run, would have run right so that was us trying to run one tag at a time let's say if you want to run multiple tags then what right so if you are trying to run multiple tags then we would actually have to use logical operators away right so cucumber allows us to use and or uh, let's put them somewhere okay, let's put them away so cucumber allows us to use these uh, logical operators and or and not right so we can use these and you know come up with different combinations as to what uh, or rather which all tags we want to run let's say I want to run UI along with smoke smoke cases right so I will write over here at the rate UI and or rather or at the rate smoke right. why or and why not and right. okay let's first run this and see what happens okay so now two cases ran one was marked as smoke is our login credentials valid credentials login other the ui test right now why did i use or and not and okay so these are as i said logical operators if i if i wrote and over here then cucumber will actually search for scenarios which have both ui and smoke tags right and not scenarios which have either ui or smoke tag right? so like now if I'm using and so in this case what should run let's first see that my first test case, test case has a smoke tag and the last one has a UI tag so in this scenario we are expecting that no test case should run right so let's try it see nothing wrong okay so uh, now let's run something and see what whether it works or not so let's run test case having functional and regression tag right? so I'll just copy it this time control C and run control V put over here and, and okay and then run it again So this time we are expecting which all to run. Expecting my invalid credentials to run, and then I'm expecting that my regression and functional 
then I'm expecting that my valid credentials should also run, but my UI test should not run. Okay, let's verify that in our output. We have got valid credentials, we have got invalid credentials, we do not have any UI. Okay. Uh, there is one more thing that we can do, we can use not, right? So, how is that? Let's say I want to run everything that is not a UI test, right? So I can use not at the rate UI. Yeah, small UI. Let's get rid of this piece also. And run this. So the first two test cases ran and the UI did not. Okay, let's that does not make it very clear. So let's just do something. Let's run everything excepting smoke, right? So we'll run functional and also we'll run UI, but we won't run smoke. So I'll just write here not at the rate smoke and then run it. Again. So everything ran, my second one ran, invalid credentials ran, and my login, and then, sorry, not login, and then my logo verification ran. Invalid credentials and logo verification both are not having smoke, right? So similarly, we can actually have multiple combinations of this. We can have multiple ands, we can have multiple nots, and you know, I would uh, suggest that you play along with this play around with this and see what all things are there and what all things are not there and try to get a hang of playing around with tags. You know, that's the only way to actually get very familiar with this. Okay, next let's move on and see how these things can be done from command line. So before we, uh, we start running our framework from command line, uh, let's get rid of this tag from here you know just to avoid con confusion okay and then also let's have a look at our form.xml file here I'm using uh, maven surefire plug plugin and I'm also using testng and I'm using testng.xml my testng.xml looks like this it just specifies where my runner class is right so let's open our command line and navigate to our project file. So my project is in C Cucumber, C projects Cucumber test. I have my command line already open. So I'll just navigate to C projects, right? Yeah, and C D Cucumber testing. Okay, so first uh, let's just do a simple MVN test and see what all things run on or rather verify that our code is running properly right so everything ran now let's add in the tags so in order to add in a tag we have to enter the following command we have to write mvn test minus capital D cucumber dot filter dot tags right then you can give an equal to and then you specify which tag you want to run say let's run the UI tag so I'll just do at the rate you got small UI right and let's see whether this runs or not I guess this runs and it gave us the correct output only one test case ran, right so earlier uh, this command was a little different and it, is, it has been changed in the latest cucumber to this earlier it was cucumber dot options right and then you can specify the tags but that command no longer works right 
so we'll be using the new one cool now uh, let's say what happens when we have a tag already present in our runner file so let's go back to our runner file and put in a tag over there so here I would say tag equal to let's put in at the rate of regression right so as per the runner file everything should run all that that is all the test uh, scenarios that have been marked with type the rate regression in our case that's everything but now I'm entering the same one okay give him the dot filter dot tags equal to add the rate UI right so as per my command line input only my UI test should run but as per my runner file my regression test should run so when I run it via command line which one would run so let's just press enter and check so here we see only the UI test run right not the regression test uh, that is because uh, Cucumba actually prefers or ra rather I would say Cucumba gives more precedence to the command line inputs okay so whatever you if you are having a command line input mentioning tags or mentioning any other property that would override the property that you have set in your runner file right and okay uh, and besides tags we can actually run or uh, this I would say we can actually insert all other cucumber option arguments from the command line I have provided a list in the description and you can actually refer the cucumber docs uh, they have a you know an extensive list of what all things are possible from the tags thank you and hope you have a good day